Hey guys, I'm Shyam from Sky Studio. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I created this scene in Blender. I did two different versions of the same scene. Actually, this the first one was the preparation for this video, and the second one is actually what I'll be making. It's just same thing with different colors. So I've done more uh, satisfying videos in my uh, YouTube channel. You guys check. You guys can check them out. So let's get on with it. So we're starting with selecting everything and deleting and for this tutorial we are going to be using animation nodes so go to the blender community website in the link in the description and pick the version according to your operating system mac linux or windows in my case i have windows and you can download the github release as well and for this to work in windows it says i need to install the vc file so go to the microsoft support page download it you can install it click the green download button and then you can download it so i have already downloaded it so i'm not gonna download it again and then uh, it's as always it's that's the file you've downloaded you can rename it you can do whatever you want but i'm going to add-ons in blender preferences and blender edit preferences and i'm gonna try uh, i'm gonna install it uh, you can install it install and so i've already installed it so i'm just going to enable it and i'm going to select i'm going to add a cube and make the vertices eight and go into edit mode add a loop cut with control r and select the top vertices and select all the top vertices and delete them and add a loop cut again and scale uh, control two to subdivide it i'm going to Drag it down with G and Z. Let's scale it down with Shift. Let's scale it down with S. And add another loop cut to make the edges smoother. And I'm going to add a UV sphere and subdivide it as well. Add the sub subdivision surface modifier for that as well. And now I'm going to select, I'm, I'm going to make it shade smooth. I'm going to select the Sophia first and then the cylinder and control J to join them together. Now you can see I have this object. Now I'm going to select control A and uh, make the transforms back to zero. I'm going to divide the window in two and go to animation nodes. And now this is actually not that hard. We always use nodes to create materials in Blender, so I don't think it's gonna be that hard for you guys as well. So create a new node tree, and also just check whether you have auto execution enabled before you start. And now we are going to add nodes with Shift A or add or add and Shift A, and I'm gonna search in search bar Object Instancer, and I'm gonna add that node and add another distribution matrices node as well I'm gonna plug the matrices into instances and so I'm gonna add an object matrices node matrix output node and plug the object into the object and plug the matrices into matrices you guys can see we have that pattern and now I'm going to select from the drop down menu circle and now you guys can see I can adjust the radius as well according to what I want now we are going to animate it for that I'm going to add a cube and I'm going to copy the cubes animation and I'm going to animate the cube and copy the animation of the cube into our uh, objects the pendulum or whatever you can call it and I'm going to delete the top two vertices and add a blue cut and scale it down and make the rotation 45 degrees at the keyframe and move 50 frames and make it minus 45 degrees and add a keyframe there as well go back to the 100th frame and add 45 and insert the keyframe and make the end keyframe 99 so you guys can see 
if you guys have followed my previous tutorials you guys know that in um, in edit preferences animation we made it linear so for this we need bezier so select all our keyframes and right click and add inter well, select the interpol interpolation to bezier and uh, then you get the smooth animation and now we are going to add we are going to copy this animation into our, all the objects we created so for that we are going to type in action so we are going to copy the action of the cube so if we select the cube just click the eyedropper to select the cube and we are going to add object action output node and plug the object into the object and the action into the action so you guys can see all everything is following our cube so and it's not how we want it to follow it so we need to delete keyframes of the a coordinate and the z coordinate of our cube so for that we'll select the cube and clear single keyframes of the x coordinate and the z coordinate clear single keyframes now you guys can see we have what the animation as to what we need for the animation nodes to follow our frames we need to add time info node so I'm going to select time info and add it to the frames so it is all seamless so I'm going to increase the radius a bit and you guys can see all the objects intersecting with each other so I'm going to the first frame and decreasing increase it in the radius so that it won't intersect with each other so select the main object and hide those from the rendered view so we will mini we will mini them now we are going to add a delay action node to get this delaying effect if we're going to make this a seamless loop right now it's start the animation is starting from the first frame and for somehow the start index doesn't work uh, right now so we are going to make our starting keyframes the 50th to the 149th keyframe so I'm going to select the cube and duplicate the keyframes and copy and paste those keyframes along the time and make the start keyframe the 50th and the 149th so now the loop should be seamless now we we'll hide the cube again we'll add a busier circle go back to the zero frame and increase the scale of the circle and go to the geometry setting of it and extrude it and increase the depth and maybe we don't have to extrude it make, make the extrusion 0 and increase the depth resolution to about 5 or 8 and make the resolution preview view 32 and I'm going to zero out the extrusion I'm going to add a cylinder increase it make the vertices 32 scale it up scale it a bit more with this and move it down and right click to shade uh, tab in edit mode and control b to bevel it and add a bevel i'm going to the bottom view and deleting the bottom face and i'm going to right click and shade, shade smooth and subdivide it with control 2 as well I'm going to add another face with E and extrude again with E, extrude again and extrude again to again scale down, extrude again and scale down, bring it up and extrude E again, extrude again and scale it down. And this is the object we created. Now I think it's looking pretty good so far and I think I can move on to add the shaders and now we're going to shading and I'm going to add the materials to our uh, to the top ring and for that first I'm going to make it a metallic shader and I'm going to select the object and add two shade, two materials and put the metallic shader to the bar for the cylinder and 
we select everything and make it metallic with select everything with a make it all metallic first a a make it all metallic and then i'm going to select one word c and click l and put the top material to that one now we're going to create our material and I'm going to increase the metallic and I'm going to add another principal shader or I'm just going to duplicate the, uh, the principal volume shader and decrease the metallic value and add a mix shader and plug those two together and now I'm going to add a color ramp to control the factor and add um, burn on a texture and plug the distance into the factor of the color ramp and you guys can see the pattern I have right now so I'm going to make this constant and plug the control T if you guys have the node wrangle add on enabled add the mapping node and the text coordinate node and plug the object into the uh, mapping and you guys can see I flipped the colors by mistake so I am flipping them back again and I feel like this size looks fine for me of oh, those dots the dot pattern look and I'm going to add subsurface okay that's the wrong shader so I'm going to make it zero again and I'm going to the other shader and increase the subsurface and add a bluish purple bluish color to it and now we're going to select the bottom cylinder we created and add a new material to that as well and I'm going to copy all that from this from the spheres and paste it in the cylinder as well and plug the mix shader into the surface we're going to change all the settings from this now we're going to delete the warner texture and add a musgrave texture and plug it into the factor and i'm going to duplicate and add another musgrave texture or just duplicate it and plug the vector in this and I'm going to scale it play with the scale and flip the colors or else you can just you can just scale it play with the scale play with the scale until you are happy with what you have let's go back to the layout now we are going to do our lighting so we'll go to rendered view and add an area lamp scale it up make the power to about 100 move it up a little bit more and add our camera control all zero to place our camera and now I'm going to make the power to about 2000 duplicate it with control D and rotate it rotate it a little bit to like get the lighting I'm going for and duplicate it again and rotate it again a little bit more and place it front and now I'm going to world settings I'm gonna make it black off camera view make it all black and it looks a little too dark so we might add um, HDRI environment texture open go to my textures folder and add an HDRI uh, previously downloaded uh, previously downloaded from tech, um, HDRI Haven 
and I'm going to decrease the strength to about 0 0.2 or 3. I'm going to add a plane, scale, drag it down, scale it up, S, 10, scale it a little bit more, and tab in edit mode, tag, select that edge, E, and move it, and scale it again. I'm going to bevel it with control B, add shade smooth and, and subdivide it and add some loop cuts with control R as well. Now I'm going to add another point lamp and place it back. Back and increase the power to about 1000. We have something, some light in the background, and increase the radius as well. And now I'm going to add depth of field, and split the cylinder in the center, and decrease the f-stop to about 0 0.2 or 3. And increase room screen space reflections, motion blur, and shadow height bit depth and that's about it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial so i have a few more um, animation loops in my channel so if you guys want you guys can check them out as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you guys did like it please subscribe to the channel and like and comment in this video if you guys want anything any video any tutorials from me or do something you guys like and just let me know in the comments below so thank you guys see you